Hi guys and welcome to this short video. My name is Yves Benini. I am the founder of EasyCMS. Today I will show you what you can do to get started quickly with EasyCMS. So let's get into it. First, go to myeasycms.com here and then click on login to EasyCMS. Here, simply use the login and the password you've been given when you created your account and click on login. Once you've done that, the first thing you will see is what you call the dashboard. So in the dashboard, you will be able to see some important information. For example, the number of displays you have connected to your account, the library size. So our library is cloud-based. So it means that everything is in the cloud and nothing is stored on your computer or on the local device. So first you will upload everything to the cloud to EasyCMS to do that, you simply need to use your browser like we do now. You don't need to install any software. And you have as well a limit, a quota you can use for your library. In this case, it's 950 megabytes. And like that, you can keep an eye on how much space you've got left for your cloud storage. Here, we have the possibility to check the display activity. And there are few important information to know. First is the color and then is the tick. So the tick means that it is connected or disconnected. So the little tick means it is connected to internet. The little cross means it is disconnected of internet. And the color means that it, if it is green, it means that it's up to date. If it is yellow, it means it is not up to date. So what do we mean by not up to date? It means that maybe you scheduled already some new content, new advertising, new promotion, but the local display didn't download it from the cloud. And so it may be an internet issue, a slow internet, for example, maybe your files are very big, so you need to wait uh, some time before it's downloaded locally on each display. Um, so it helps you to keep an eye on this and to understand better what is the status of your updates and if everything is going okay. So as you can see, this one is connected to internet, but it is yellow. It means that it is not up to date, so it's still waiting for some update to come locally to this device. This one is not connected to internet and this one is not up to date. The other ones are all green. It means that they're up to date and they're connected to internet. That's perfect. So. What we've got here is the library. Uh, so simply click here and on media. And here you will access your cloud library. This is where you will add files, images, and videos as well. So for images, we will simply recommend you to use JPEGs. And for videos, we will recommend you to use MP4 videos. Um, and you have a little thumbnail, you know, to check exactly what is the image. And if you click on it, it will pop up in bigger resolution. Like that, you're sure that, you know, this is a correct file you want to use. And you have as well the duration. By default, every image will be 10 seconds long. You can, of course, change that at the time of upload. Or as well, if you edit here, the image itself. Or as well, in the timeline, you can change this information. So if you want to add more media, you simply click here and you will be able to access your desktop and choose new media you want to upload. So let's say I want to upload this image. I just click here, I click upload, and here we go. That's it. That's all I have to do to add media to my cloud storage. And it's here. I can click, I can check everything is okay. Perfect. So then I have my layout. So once the images and the videos are in my library, it does not mean they are showing on the display. I need to add them to a layout. So I will go to the layout here I can, of course, create new layouts or I can edit existing layouts. So let's check this one. I will click here and then I will click on design. So here I'm entering the design part. I will check out. It means that now I can edit the design and I have here my timeline. So it's like a playlist really. Uh, you can also access here if you have multiple files, maybe it's better to use a list view rather than a timeline view. So you have option to use both uh, simply by clicking on this here. And by clicking on each file, you can preview it and make sure this is a file that should be there. You can simply add files by using the widget below here. The most common will be add an image. You will simply click on plus, 
click here and you can add files that are on your desktop or you can add files that are already in your library here you can even search for it so let's say i'm looking for a specific file let's say ice cream so i would just type ice cream and here i can see that i've got my ice cream i would just click on the plus click here and it's adding this file to my timeline so that's very very simple if i don't need it anymore i can delete it here we go so we will get into more details in other videos about how to use the timeline and how to use all the features of this part so once i've done that very important i need to publish my layout and like that now i can schedule it so not that i've got my layout ready i go to schedule here i click on it and here i will make sure i click on show all here and i will see all existing schedules if i don't have anything existing i can simply click on add event and it will actually create a new uh, event to publish on one display okay if you don't do that nothing will show on your display this is very important so i will just check what is existing already i will click on this one and i can see already scheduled an event type a layout it is showing on display info and actually this is a group of display so we'll get into how to create groups in other videos but basically you can use groups to target multiple displays at the same time but as well you can actually mix and match and say okay i want to target this group but as well i want to target this display or you can just really choose it can be very complex uh, scheduling options uh, and you can just add and delete very easily then you have the departing departing will actually uh, make you to choose if you want to show this layout all the time or if you just want to show it for example in the morning or at very custom dates for example if you have a special promotion then you would use custom and you would decide okay this will start on this date let's say it's christmas soon so it will start on the monday 20th and then it will end just right after christmas on sunday 26 for example and then here it would just you know save this information and it will upload it to the display that you chose and when is the date is coming it knows it needs to show this specific layout so i would choose my layout here at this moment i just have two but i could choose any i want and then simply just save here we go and i just created my new event here so you can see actually it's different this one is little hours because it's showing all the time and here we actually have just a little uh, computer because it is showing on specific dates you can see starting on the 20th and it's finishing on the 26th so i will simply click on it if i don't need it and i will just click delete and here i got rid of it so this is very the basic introduction to easy cms so this is the first video of a series of tutorials that will help you to get used to uh, easy cms and get the most of it ready so uh, just check the playlist uh, it should be just next to it uh, on the channel and uh, just choose the videos you are looking for if you need if you need some more information about scheduling if you need some more information about for example uh, creating multi-zone layout or just use the timeline properly expiry dates or things like this then uh, just check the video you need and uh, if you have any specific needs simply type a comment I will make sure I read it and uh, I will answer to you if you have specific questions even and I will try to help you as much as I can uh, for you to get really the most of easy CMS. So thank you very much and you take care. See you in the next, in the next video.